let's go ahead and run an OTDR test. I'm going to click my OTDR button right here. And I've already um, done my settings. I'll just show you that real quick. I've got a limit set. I've got my launch cord information in there. And I'm set to show both wavelengths trace. We'll show a dual trace. I'm set for both 1310 and 1550 using a max length of 500 meters and a pulse width of 20. I'm going to go ahead and hit test. And here we see a test in progress notification. And that little triangle you see at the top is a uh, laser warning designator. That just tells us that there is an active laser uh, at the time that this test is running. So that's a warning to the user not to look at the end of the fiber. Or if you didn't have anything connected to the unit, don't look into the port while this is running. We get a chime from the tester telling us our test is complete. And here we see our trace. So I've got... Uh, I have a 100 meter launch cord that I've got masked, so I see the first reflected connector right here. Then I see a, um, uh, my, first, my first length of fiber, and then I see a, uh, another reflected connector, and then another length of fiber. I see a third reflected connector, and then out here at the end of the fiber. I can look at any of these events. So again, these are the reflections we talked about earlier. If I click on my event table, I can see each of these events. So right here is the beginning of the fiber. This is a reflective event, so that's our first mated pair, right at about 97 meters. Uh, and then another uh, roughly 100 meters, just under 100 meters, at 195 meters away, I see the next spike. And then I see the end of my uh, launch cord out at the far end here. So this reflecting is the ends of the launch cord. So the two fibers that are under test are this first section here and the second section. By having the, the tail cord on here, I actually am able to characterize that last reflection point on that second cord. Now some users may prefer, instead of looking at a trace like this in an event table, they may prefer to, uh, to look at it in an event map. And if we click the event map button, we can see here zero meters, this is the beginning of the fiber. We can click on that, get the details about that first reflection. There's our next reflection after we go through that first fiber under test. We see that, and then I click again. We see more details about the event. As we click this each time, it changes, and then it shows us out there at the end. And we can look at this for both 1550 and 1310. So back to the trace, you'll notice there is, appears to be a ghost trace here. So this is a the brighter trace is our main trace at 1310 right now we're looking at. The other one is 1550. If I click on 1550, now the 1550 trace highlights. It's important to be able to see both traces because if you have bends in the fiber, that can be determined by a difference in the two traces. If there's a significant loss difference at an event or along the fiber, uh, the trace looks significantly different. That's an indication that you may have a bend. And then we just save this test result just like we would any other test on a test pro or an NSA. And that is an OTDR trace. The AEM OTDR modular test adapters will work with both the test pro multifunction cable certification system and the network service assistant multifunction qualification plus test system. Thank you for your time. Please visit our website at www.aem-test.com for more information.